Hello, first grade. Okay, so we're gonna be making a Mother's Day um, art-inspired project this week. Um, so we're gonna be making um, uh, like a background and then we're gonna have stems, we're gonna have flowers, and then we're gonna add almost like a 3D vase. Um, for the vase, you guys can use whatever you have. So if you have um, construction paper, you can use a construction paper. If you have um, like scrapbook paper, that would be good. Um, whatever you have is fine. Uh, I'm gonna choose one of these pieces for the vase. So I'll probably, I'll probably do this gray one. Um, but this is just uh, uh, scrapbook paper. So if you have something like that, awesome. If you don't, just use construction paper. Whatever, whatever you have is fine, okay? Okay, so I have a background color, so I'm gonna choose blue. You can choose whatever color background that you want. This is gonna be my background color. And then I have up to five different colors for my flowers, okay? So I have five colors here, and then I have two green papers, and this is gonna be for my stems, okay? So um, one paper, I'm gonna cut the stems out, and then this paper, I'm gonna cut the leaves out. So if you only have one green, you can use this. Um, like maybe you can cut it in half and you can do one side the leaves, the petals, and then um, on the other side, you can add the strips of green for your stems. So maybe you have um, five flowers, so you're gonna wanna do five stems. Maybe you have one flower, you just need one stem. Uh, it's up to you, okay? So, let's go ahead and get started. So today we're gonna be um, making our flowers and cutting them all up, and then on Wednesday we'll uh, assemble it all together, put it all together, and glue it down on our background paper. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, um, I'm going to make, I'm gonna put the other green paper away, because I think I, I think I only need one, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half. So I'm going to fold it, okay? And I'm gonna get the scissors and I'm gonna cut this right in the middle. So if you wanna cut along here, you can, or if you wanna open up and just cut it in the middle here, it is up to you. I'm gonna cut it right in the middle, okay? So this piece is gonna be for my petals, my little leaves, okay? So I'm gonna put that to the side. And then this piece, I'm gonna cut strips out, okay? Okay, so I went ahead and cut my paper. So now I have um, strips. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So my strips are pretty long. So what, am I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather all of my pieces together and I'm gonna cut them right in the middle there so I have more stems. I may not need all of them, but we'll see, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just fold it. And then I'm just gonna give it a cut right in the middle there, okay? All right, so now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have 10 stems. I may not need all of them, so I'm just gonna keep them to the side. And then I have my background piece to the side too. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start making my flowers, okay? So maybe you wanna make um, like a tulip style flower, or maybe you wanna make like a big flower. So I'm gonna show you guys different flowers that you can make, okay? So maybe you wanna make like a flower that looks like that, or maybe you wanna make like a round flower with like a round center, or maybe you wanna make a flower that has the center part and it has petals. Whatever you wanna do is fine. Maybe you want it to be like a wavy flower, okay? Or maybe you wanna make like a sunflower, okay? It's up to you, whatever you guys wanna do. Okay, just trying to be really quick here, but you get it. Okay, 
of two, okay? So I'm gonna be making just a bunch of different flowers, okay? So, let's see here. So what I'm gonna do is I have one, two, three, four, five. So I have five colors here. Okay, so I'm going to get all my papers and I'm gonna cut it right in the middle, okay? So just give it a cut right in the middle, okay? One half is gonna be my flowers and one half are going is going to be the center part of my flowers, okay? So I'm gonna put this to the side and now I have just this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this again and I'm gonna cut this one, okay, and put that to the side. And I'm going to make, I guess this can be like a tulip or something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out, okay. And if you want to draw on all of them, you can. Or if you want to just cut it one time, you can do that too. Okay. So I have all my pieces here and I'm just going to cut it one time. Okay. Because I like to take shortcuts. So I'm just cutting it. Just cutting it. flowers here. Okay, I'm going to throw this paper in the recycle. I don't need it anymore. Okay, so now I'm going to get these flowers. And maybe I'm just going to do two of the same. So this flower is going to be a circle. So let me find like a perfect circle. And see what I can trace here. That's like a good circle size. Hmm. That doesn't have anything. Maybe it's a little bit too big. Yeah, I'm going to trace it anyway. I'm going to just kind of cut around it. So I'm just tracing because I want a perfect circle. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out one time and get the same size, same shape twice. Okay, so I have two circles there. Put this to the side. Okay. So now I have three of these, so maybe I can just do just a regular flower with maybe four petals, something like that. And I'm going to cut that out. And there's three pieces there, so it's going to be cut out three times, okay? I'm just going to cut around it. The pencil lines is just my guide. Okay. It's just showing me where to cut. Okay. okay I'm turning around. I have three flowers like that. Okay. So now I have these flowers. Um, let's see, maybe I'm gonna cut some more circles out. Let's do two. And I'm gonna trace my coaster here. Okay, I'm gonna cut this out. Two papers back there. Okay, 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have these two papers and I'm just gonna make lines all around. Okay, make sure you have enough space in the middle there so you can add a little detail there later. And your lines don't have to be perfect. Okay, something like that. I'm gonna put this to the side. Okay, then I have one, two, three. Let's see. Um, maybe I will make uh, maybe like a baby, like wavy flowers. Um, I'm actually gonna just leave it like that and then just cut around. No, no, no. Like a flower, like a wavy flower. Cut that little piece off. Okay, and I have three pieces, three pieces of paper here. So I'm gonna have three wavy flowers. Okay. Okay, so I have a bunch of flowers here, so I'm just going to gather them all together, and then we're going to put them together on Wednesday. So I have these, these, and these. Okay, so those are all my pieces there, and then I have my strips here, and then I have my background piece here. Okay, so... All right, so for right now, um, we'll wait to cut the uh, middle part for our flowers, like the little dots. We'll wait and we'll do that on Wednesday. Um, so we'll keep these papers together too. And then our background piece and then your base, okay? And then we'll learn how to um, assemble all our pieces on Wednesday. Okay guys, so I'll just keep this here and then we'll finish up and I will see you guys back on Wednesday. Okay, bye guys. Happy May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Goodbye.